Welcome to the presentation and I'm going to start uh, this presentation by introducing our business. The business is a coffee shop and the name is r -box. And our concept is luxury and high quality coffee, coffee shop. And our target is the year 20s to 40s years old people. And move on to sunk cost. First of all, sunk cost is past cost that already incurred and cannot be recovered. And also, it's the cost is independent of future event. The first sunk cost of my our business is research and development. The first point is we pay we pay for real estate agencies to to find the best place in Hanoi. And also we pay your monitor to get information about the current market and also we uh, we test a number of coffee flavors to find the best flavor the second some cost is marketing study to set the best marketing strategy we need to study marketing and also finally we need to train steps and so we are going to hire a barista and they can train the steps about how to use the machine and computer. So my name is Jung and I will uh, talk about the working capital of our Arbus coffee shop. Uh, our working uh, capital is designed to pay for the, uh, for example, furniture around $20,000. Uh, the table weigh, for example, is a cup or a spoon around 10000 the other inventory, decoration and lighting, or the machine, the fridge, and the computer software may be around for the thirty or twenty thousand. Okay, so um, looking at, looking at the opportunity cost is a cost that we have to check off when doing our business, and instead of investing in the coffee shop, uh, we, instead of that we can uh, do uh, you can invest in the same choice when you can work in the company and uh, have the salary of two hundred to five hundred dollar a month without making any loss and like after five years it will be twelve thousand to thirty thousand dollars and also we can invest in another business instead of investing in coffee shop and uh, looking at the side effect um, when we uh, invest in coffee shop it's necessary to find a place for parking lot in Hanoi because it's pretty hard for um, in a very crowded city like Hanoi to find a place and also we got to pay for the government to um, like make the business smoothly. Uh, I will continue with uh, some number. Uh, we uh, just calculate the profit uh, from year one to year five. Um, the sale uh, that we earn is uh, increased dramatically from uh, 1,000, uh, 100,000 to 250,000. Uh, the working capital, uh, we uh, depreciated uh, in uh, 10 years uh, by using shell line method. Uh, the net profit after tax that uh, we uh, calculate that uh, we make loss from year one and after that by using ad advertising uh, from year one to year two, uh, we gain uh, uh, more profit after uh, uh, three, four years. Uh, let's move on to the cash flow. Um, we have uh, the uh, Guess our flow in year one, and after that uh, we gain uh, uh, we gain uh, guess in, in flow after uh, year two to year five. And my partner will continue our presentation. Okay, and now I want to continue our presentation with some finance evaluation. Uh, firstly, we will come up with the net present value. You can see that after five years we will make some profit which is almost $200,000, which is a very big number to compare with our opportunity cost like doing in another company for salary. And the interest rate of return will be 43%, which is very high compared to the current market rate of 10%. So the company is free to invest to make profit. And the payment period will be 2.76 years, which means that we will cover all the costs in almost three years. But of course, we have to make sure that all the sales will be will happen occur according to our plan. 
so we'll make a lot of profit. That's the end of my presentation. Thanks for watching.